He's Deadpool. He has dozens of variations on his origin. But what is the true origin? Welcome to Origins, where we go over the origins of your favorite superheroes and villains. Today we're going to be going over the origins of Deadpool. While there are a bunch of variations to this, Marvel did release an actual origin issue form in order to cement the origin before any movie could get to it. So let's have a look. Our story begins with a man running out of a house located in Hollywood Hills. A confused man then walks in the front door to see the infamous Merc with a mouth sitting there holding a gun. So tell me your pitch for the Deadpool movie, he tells the man. And the man tells him, no, tell me your story. I'm here to listen. See if we can turn it into a movie. So where does the story of Deadpool begin? Seriously? Well, you might be sorry you asked about it. I mean, this is an origin story after all. It begins with Wade Wilson in ridiculous amounts of pain, butt naked in a tank full of water. He even has sharp needles jabbing his yin yang and tubes up his hoo-ha. Luckily, he volunteered for this. He volunteered because it was either a painful death from stage four cancer or these experimental trials in Canada. But as he rose from the tank of water, all of the doctors around were shocked at his appearance. Deadpool reached up asking if he had lost his hair. Right off the bat, he looked like hamburger, so they tested his healing factor by shooting his fingers off and then lighting him on fire. But no matter what they did, he would always heal back looking like chewed up hamburger. So he was considered a failure. The entire purpose of this project was to create a super spy that could heal himself back from any injury and be undetectable. But with a face that looks like it was run over by a cheese grater, how could he possibly be a spy? So they shoved him in the cells of the other failed experiments to be forgotten. But this isn't what Wade Wilson signed up for. At least cancer would have ended eventually. So he came up with a plan where he faked being ill and got a guard to come into his cell. He then murdered the guard and everyone in his way on the way out of the facility until he was finally free of this. His healing factor gave him a certain competitive edge over everyone else in the mercenary field. So he went back to doing that, and he wore a mask, just like the people in the funny books. Which led him to meeting a grumpy cyborg from the future, and then becoming best buds with said cyborg. And that's the story of Deadpool, he tells the Hollywood writer. But the writer then asks him, But what were you before all of that? Who was Wade Wilson? So Deadpool continues to explain. Wade was an idiot. He was a mercenary with a moral code. He would take jobs that he believed in instead of jobs for money. He'd go out, kill a dictator because he deserved it, and then go home to his girlfriend in Boston. His life was great until he got the news that he had cancer. So he left that life behind because he refused to become a burden on anyone in his life ever again. This eventually led him to the experimental treatments in Canada in an insane attempt to cure his cancer. And then we go to the needles in his yang yang and etc etc. No, wait! I want to know about young Wade before all of this. You're joking, right? Deadpool says, looking at the man. Well, all right then. And he takes a sip of his whiskey. My dad was a real kidder. We had a routine where he would go behind the front door and knock. And then I would answer with, who's there? And he would tell me, cash. And then I would say, cash who? And he would tell me that he always knew I was a nut. But then one day, he slipped behind the door and never came back. I would do our knock-knock game just to see if he would reappear, but he never did. After my dad left, my mother tried to ease the pain with booze and ordering junk from cable. She joked about everything, even the crippling debt that she had racked up. I blamed myself and I told myself that she would be fine if she didn't have to worry about me. So I left. I signed up for the only thing that young broke Americans could do, the military, which led me to becoming a mercenary and then Deadpool. Every time I was confronted with a horrible situation, I saw only two reactions that I could take, laughter or tears. And laughter always seemed like the better cure. The movie writer looked at Deadpool and he told him that they are going to make an amazing movie. 35 months later, Deadpool went to his own movie premiere, but it wasn't exactly what he was expecting. After countless explosions and a little Celine Dion, Deadpool had had enough and he walked outside and blew up the writer's car. Then he decided to do one more thing that he had never worked up the courage to do. You see, the movie writer had asked him why he didn't look into his dad, why he never looked for him. And he told him he didn't want to bother, but that was a lie. He had dug up the address long ago. So he walked up to the door at a lonely house in the middle of nowhere and he knocked. An old man answered asking, who's there? And Deadpool told him, Wade. Wade who? Wade do you see what happened to me, dad? And that's the end of Deadpool's origin. Now I know there's a lot of different conflicting views as to what happened with that afterwards, but this is the one that they just recently re-released, so I hope you guys enjoy that. If you are looking for the variations, there's one where he ended up killing his own family, there's one where he married a woman and had a daughter, there's a whole bunch of different things that seemingly happened to him, and maybe they all do fit in here somewhere, but this is the one that they put out. I'm Benny the Comic Historian, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time right here.